These types of animation videos are going viral online, especially on platforms like YouTube and TikTok. This faceless YouTube channel has managed to gain around 12 million subscribers by uploading similar animation videos. On TikTok, they've built a following of over 10 million with the same type of content. So, it's safe to say they're earning thousands of dollars through YouTube AdSense, TikTok's creativity program, or even paid sponsorships. I'm sure many of you have seen these videos at least once. There aren't many creators making this kind of content, so there's not much competition. You'll be shocked when you see how many views their videos get. Every video has millions of views. For example, 131 million views, 128 million, 118 million, and even more. That's just crazy. These videos get so many views because once people start watching, they can't stop. If you can make videos like these, you can also go viral and start making money. But here's the problem. They use complicated and expensive animation software, which most of you might not be able to afford. That's why in this video, I'll show you how to make an animation video easily using a free AI tool. Look at this animation I made with a free AI tool in just a few minutes. Hey Alex, guess what? I just started taking salsa lessons. Salsa lessons? I didn't know you liked cooking. What? No, not the dip. Salsa dancing. Oh, so you're learning how to dance while making salsa? Multitasking. Impressive. No, Alex. Just dancing. No tomatoes, no onions. Just feet and music. Ah, got it. Dancing with tomatoes. Sounds messy, but fun. Ah, forget it. Anyway, our instructor is amazing. She taught us this cool spin move. Spin move like spinning the salsa in the bowl for extra flavor? How do we get back to salsa? To make videos like this for free, we will follow four steps. The first step is to visit a website called Adobe Express. I'll include the link in the video description. Once you're on the website, click on the plus icon. Then choose Quick Action and look for an option called Animate Characters. Click on it and it will take you to another page. The best part is that this AI tool is free so you can create as many videos as you want. On this page, you'll see lots of pre-made characters that you can use in your videos. These characters are amazing and you can pick whichever one you like. For example, let's choose this sticky character. Here, you can change everything. You can move the character, make it bigger or smaller, and much more. All right, this looks great, but the background doesn't fit, so let's change it. To do that, click on Background. You'll find lots of pre-made cartoon-style backgrounds to use. You can try different ones until you find the perfect match for your character. For example, I'm, I'm going to use this simple one. Now it looks better. Next, we need to change the aspect ratio. To do this, click on Size. You'll see options for different aspect ratios depending on the social media platform you're using. Since we're making a YouTube short, I'll select the 916 ratio under the YouTube option. Okay, we've now finished setting everything up. Step 2 is to create the script and voiceover. If you watch any of the sticky animation videos, you'll notice they share a message in a funny way. That's why these videos go viral, so it's important to spend time writing a good script. Don't use a boring AI-generated script, because the humor in these videos is what makes them popular, not just the animations. If you want to use ChatGPT to help with the script, make sure to explain exactly what you want. For example, you could ask it to create a short, funny conversation between two people. One person keeps misunderstanding what the other says, leading to some hilarious moments. The tone should be light and playful, and by the end, the second person either gives up or just plays along with the confusion. Here's an example of the result. The script is fun and engaging. You can pause the video to read it. To get a script that feels natural and human-like, you need to give clear details about what you want in your video. Next, you'll need to record the script. If you have a nice voice, you can record it yourself. But for this video, I'm going to use an AI tool called Eleven Labs to create the voiceover. This tool isn't completely free, but with a free account, you get 10,000 credits every month, which is plenty to get started. Once you sign in, you'll see this page. In this box, you need to type your script. I'm going to copy the script, part by part, from ChatGPT and paste it here. Don't paste the whole script at once. Break it into smaller parts and create separate audio files for each one. This will make creating the animation much easier. If you click here, you'll find a lot of pre-made voices you can use in your video. You can test each voice by clicking on the small play icon. 
For sticky animation videos, I recommend using a voice that sounds playful or childish. When you're ready, click here to generate the voiceover for the script. Hey Alex, guess what? I just started taking salsa lessons. After it's ready, you can download the voiceover by clicking this button. Make sure to generate voiceovers for each line of your script and save them all to your device. Don't forget to organize the files in a folder with proper names so you can keep them in the right order. Step 3 is to use the voiceovers to create animated videos. Let's go back to Adobe Express Animation. Now click here to upload your first voiceover file, select the file and click Open. Adobe Express will automatically animate your character with lip sync. This might take a little time depending on how long the audio is. Let's skip ahead, here's the result. Hey Alex, guess what? I just started taking salsa lessons. It looks perfect. Now click the download button to save the animation clip. Once the first animation is done, click the back button. Now I'll create another animation using the second audio file. To do this, click on the replace audio button, then click browse and upload the next audio file. What? No, not the dip, salsa dancing. After the second animation is created, download it to your device. Repeat this process for all the audio files to create individual animation clips and save them to your device. All right, all of our animation clips are ready. Step four is to combine all the animation videos. To do this, I'm going to use the CapCut app. It's free and works on all devices. First, import all the videos from your device and drag them onto the timeline. If you want to add transitions between your clips, you can easily do that from here. Let's check the video now. Hey Alex, guess what? I just started taking salsa lessons. Salsa lessons? I didn't know you liked cooking. What? No, not the dip, salsa dancing. Oh, so you're learning how to dance while making salsa? Multitasking, impressive. Looks good so far. To make the video more engaging, we need to add subtitles. Subtitles can increase your video views by up to 40%. Adding subtitles in CapCut is super easy. Just go to Captions and click on Generate. It will take a few seconds and your subtitles will be ready. However, the subtitles might not be visible because they are in white text by default. So we need to change the color. I'll change it to black so it's easy to see. Now I'll adjust the position and place the subtitles at the top. You can customize the subtitles however you like. For example, I'm changing the font style to make it look better. And that's it, our video is almost ready. Here's the final result. Hey Alex, guess what? I just started taking salsa lessons. Salsa lessons? I didn't know you liked cooking. What? No, not the dip, salsa dancing. Oh, so you're learning how to dance while making salsa? Multitasking, impressive. No, Alex, just dancing. No tomatoes, no onions, just feet and music. Ah, got it, dancing with tomatoes. Sounds messy, but fun. Ah, forget it. Anyway, our instructor is amazing. She taught us this cool spin move. Spin move like spinning the salsa in the bowl for extra flavor? How do we get back to salsa? There's no food, no bowls. Just me spinning in a circle, trying not to fall over. Oh, okay, like a human blender. Gotcha. You know what? Yes, exactly. I'm a human blender. That's exactly what salsa dancing is. See? Now you're making sense. So when do I get to taste your salsa? Tomorrow bring chips. Really can't wait. Why do I even bother? I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.